Donald Trump has just announced reparations for white people, for white boys and men. He thinks that our education system is catering too much to girls and people of color. He wants the Department of Justice to go after our schools and universities and take money from them because he doesn't think they're catering enough to white men and boys. In what area? Does he think they're not giving them enough money for men's sports and boys sports, for uh, scholarships, for their clubs, for their interests? Historically, women, girls, and people of color have been discriminated against in our schools and universities. And now he wants to highlight the boys and the men even more. MAGA women, you can't actually believe this, right? You don't actually think this is good for your daughters, right? That he's going to go after the school system because somehow they've catered too much to the girls. Good luck with that. Y'all listen to this. Furthermore, I will direct the Department of Justice to pursue federal civil rights cases against schools that continue to engage in racial discrimination and schools that persist in explicit unlawful discrimination under the guise of equity will not only have their endowments taxed, but through budget reconciliation, I will advance a measure to have them fined up to the entire amount of their endowment. A portion of the seized funds will then be used as restitution for victims of these illegal and unjust policies, policies that hurt our country so badly. Colleges have gotten hundreds of billions of dollars from hardworking taxpayers, and now we are going to get this anti-American insanity out of our institutions once and for all. We are going to have real education in America. Thank you. So, in other words, reparations for white people. Any comments on that, Trump likes? <laughs> You know, I truly, honestly hate it here, and I'm going to show you why. I'm not even going to show his face because not on my page. I don't know. Not enough people are talking about this. Not enough people are like, like, there's so many reasons why we should be so upset that the president-elect is currently who the president-elect is. But this one up there, right there, that says he promises reparations to YT Americans labeling them as racial discrimination victims. Hold on. Second second photo. So it says you heard him correctly and you sure the F did. He is going to be given reparations to white Americans labeling them as victims of racial discrimination in correlation to education policies, right? So it basically says that he will pursue federal civil rights cases against schools that continue to engage in racial discrimination and persist in unlawful discrimination under the guise of equity. It also says down way down below that he will tax these colleges and universities with hefty fines. How does he plan on playing these victims of racial discrimination? He's going to use the seized funds from that college or university. So he plans on taxing that university or college, and then he also plans on fining that university of college, who down here, right here, it says, considers um, diversity, equity, and inclusion. He wants the Justice Department not only to tax these people, but to fine them and then to use those fines and put it back into the pockets of the white Americans who are racially discriminated against. And then down below here, he says he considers the real victims of racial discrimination as white people. Let that soak in. And for all you, all you, all you black Americans, I'm about to call you out your name, but I am of a higher divinity and I'm not going to do that. I just want to educate you. All you black Americans who voted for this man, who said that he, you can relate to him, who said that he is like kin to you and um, you can never ever think about voting for someone like Kamala, but have no true reasons as to why you wouldn't vote for someone like Kamala, but then turn around and back a man like that. This is what he thinks about y'all. Hold on, let me show let me show everybody an article that popped up on my feed the other day. One sec. 
So five days ago, this article popped up on my news feed. It says, black men explain why they ditched Democrats and voted for Trump. He was authentic with the community, right? Let me, let me show you the article. So you can, oh, maybe I should move myself just in case you want to pause and read, right? So if you wanted to pause and read, you can go ahead and pause and read. But basically what I wanted to point out is this very bottom sentence that says, there was also a lingering sense that Trump was someone with whom they could relate. Yet, this is what we're looking at right now. How do you guys feel? How do, how do you feel? I'm so sick of living in this country.